Thank you so much. These doctors uh, requested me that they want to leave early. That's the reason they have been honored. And now, may I take the opportunity to ask Dr. Abhinandana to say a few words. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It's such a beautiful afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, dignitaries. Kes Murthy, sir. Uh, thank you for giving this opportunity today to speak on this dais. Uh, it's not an end to say getting the APJ Abdul Kalam Medical Excellence Award is not at an easy task. Definitely you have been doing many services to the mankind. Let's not end here. This is the beginning because it's a beginning to start a great work. It's a beginning to be more disciplined. It's a beginning to be more than ever to perform your excellent skills. Let's serve the mankind with good heart and kindness. So the thing is that a particular day, this uh, today I'm a chief guest, but previously, I mean, just a normal general kind. So the female child told the pediatrician, sir, that's the beauty and the heart of a female child, such an empathetic female personalities. And being doctor, that to a female doctor is very, very empathetic situation we are in. Then I thought to myself, I'm going to treat all the female child for free. And this is the 12th year of the free service to the female children. Thank you. So it's been not only a 12 years of journey in treating the people, but uh, it's a very disciplined lifestyle what we need to follow. We need to allay a disciplined, extraordinary lifestyle to empower more female uh, doctors to serve the mankind. I always say that every award or the recognition you get, it's a stepping stone of success. We should never feel that this recognition we have got today and yes, we are fine, we are going to lay it down, no, never. The way each recognition you are going to get, the more the work you have to put in and the more you have to prove yourself and more the mankind you have to serve. So every day is a new lesson for us, we have been working so hard since many years putting so much effort, especially in this country, like one of the doctor was saying, they were expecting a fourth, at least a fourth child, a male child. So we are no less to anyone, definitely. Nobody is going to encourage you. And rather, my, I just stopped in the between. My child said that particular day, uh, do you think I don't deserve it? I asked my kid. Then they said, Mama, you are the best mother to us. Definitely, you're going to be a best doctor for your patients too. So I was so happy that particular day when my kid told me that definitely I could do. Previously, I used to feel sometimes I'm leaving my kids around, running to the patients. Almost ev since 12 years, every second Sunday goes for the service, third Sunday for the service. I don't know what time I'm spending with the kids, but ultimately they are the one who encourages. Today I'm here in front of you because it's been years of service to the mankind and definitely the blessings of beloved parents and everybody's encouragement around me. Here, few are my classmates and my well-wishers as well today who are receiving uh, the award. They're the excellent pediatricians, excellent dermatologists who are sitting here and many more excellent surgeons are here. So let us keep motivating ourselves. Nobody is here to motivate. Everybody is definitely there to pinpoint. Let's encourage each other. Let's motivate each other. Let us be more disciplined and let us serve the people in a better way. This is just a beginning. Let's have the success in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a wonderful. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Abhinandana Garu. Thank you so much. It was a little emotional. It was motivating. End of the day, it was a wonderful day and a wonderful speech. Thank you.